Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about how leaders can support team success. Important stuff. Are you ready? Let's get started. In 2011, I wrote a blog post. Well, in 2011, I wrote a lot of blog posts, but I happened to have written a post titled, interestingly, how leaders can support team success. And in the time since then, it's become perhaps my most read blog post of all. And so I thought I would share some of the same ideas and, and share some comments on this episode of Remarkable TV. So let's, let's do exactly that. Here are the six things. The first one is, um, as leaders, right? So all these start with as leaders. As leaders, expect and encourage teamwork. Now, this may seem obvious. Kevin, well, I've got a team. I want them to work together. And yet, if we're not expecting it, uh, if we're not telling people this is really how we want you to work, they may not realize it. They may not think it. They may be thinking, my job is to do my job. When you really want them to really, that their job is to work successfully with others. So expect, set clear expectations about teamwork and encourage it when you see it and you'll get more of it. That's how we support it, right? Next is to be committed to team success and to grow that commitment in others. Like if you really want your team to be successful, you better be committed yourself. And are you showing that commitment? And are you doing the things, encouraging that in others? Again, are you expecting that commitment? Not just expecting the work, but that people will actually be committed. Third, create a team vision and help individuals personalize it. Now, this one's kind of a challenge because we really do want to have a vision of where we want the team to go. What's the outcome? What's the, what's the direction that we're heading? Where, where are we trying to get? And yet if we create it alone in a vacuum and then hand it to people, it won't be nearly as successful as if they have the chance to personalize it. So when I say create a team vision, in a perfect world, the team is involved in the creation of it, has input into the creation of it. But at a minimum, what you want to be doing is this, getting your team members to say, okay, what, how is this meaningful for you? How is what, what is your vision of helping us get to this larger vision. When people can connect their vision to the team vision, you've got a much better chance of success. Another thing that you can do as a leader is to focus on relationships and encourage others to do the same. Now, there's more to having a successful team than having strong working relationships. And it's a pretty important part too isn't it? So as an example, on our team, when a new person joins our team and our team is remote, not everyone works together, I make it a very clear expectation that everyone has to get to know that person. In fact, I make the new person's part of their first two or three weeks job is to interact with, on a personal level, every other person on the team. Schedule an appointment to get to know each other. Our, that sets an expectation. That sets a picture that relationships matter. And then we've got to make sure as individual leaders that we're building those relationships. We're supporting that in the team and among the team as well. What else? Well, we need to be available to help and let people grow independently of you too. So yes, as a leader, you're a resource and you should be trying to be helpful and being available to help and to answer questions and to provide coaching. And yet you shouldn't become, they shouldn't become codependent on you. You want people to be growing independent of you and the team to be growing without, so they don't always need you. Both are true. And the last thing is be supportive and encourage others to be supportive of each other too. Support is a huge part of a successful team. Are you supporting people? Are you encouraging people? By the way, one of the most common words I've used in this video is the word encourage. Are you supporting others? Are you encouraging others to do the same? So I promised you six ways to support, that you could support your team's success. But really, if you'd listen again, you'd see that I gave you 12. Because every time I gave you a suggestion, I said, do this and do this. There's a part that's yours and there's a part that belongs to the team. And so whether you want to call it six or you want to call it a dozen, the fact is I've given you some ideas that can help you make your team be more successful. They can help you grow your team to get greater success. And I hope that one or more of these ideas can make a difference for you and your team. Let me close with today's tweet. Remember you aren't just the leader of the team, you are a member of the team too.
every week right here, we do another episode of Remarkable TV. And if this is your first one, you need to know that because if you like this, you want to come back. Like I've recorded videos about cake mixes and hamburger and coconuts and pineapples, all kinds of stuff over the years. I've talked about breakfast cereal. I've worn boxing gloves. I've done all sorts of stuff. Listen, I'd love for you uh, to come back uh, again. And the easiest way to do that is to just sign up on the link here uh, so we can subscribe you and you can get a new episode every single week. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Remarkable TV.